Hey, it's Julie White here, and welcome to the Sustainability Challenge, where I am on a mission to see how technology is changing the world towards zero inequality, zero waste, and zero emissions. And that's where Dana Eberhardt comes in. She's the Chief Human Resources Officer at Mod Pizza. Welcome, Dana, and thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Now, I'm here on the Sustainability Challenge, where uh, for Mod Pizza particularly, they focus on zero inequality, right, and the work you're doing around people sustainability. So what does that look like, and how did that start? Yeah, I think it really starts with our purpose, which was to create a place that includes everyone and um, breaking down barriers to employment. So those are anything from... Uh, formerly incarceration, intellectual and developmental disabilities. It might be homelessness, not having a high school diploma, single parenthood. In 2008, when we started the company, it was really about hiring people because so many people were getting laid off. And we didn't question backgrounds and we didn't question capability because there's no uh, requirements at MOD to come in and work with us. And so that's where it started. And it just grew from there. And it's obviously going very well. Yes, going very well. We have over 540 stores. So really it was the policy of hiring of saying no barriers. And then you it, it attracted that talent. What does that look like for you as in a, from an HR perspective? Lots of people feel a sense of belonging at Mon. And so they have a faster rate of promotion and a higher retention rate in our stores. The, the community of inclusion that you guys have created and the special culture that you have. So what is that experience like for your employees? When people can come to work and be themselves, I think that that is something that uh, enables you to thrive. Mm -hmm. And it, in turn, it demonstrates to our customers something special as well. And so we get comments all the time about, you know, what a unique environment it is, both from an employee standpoint, but also a customer standpoint. I'm wondering if there is a particular story of an employee that really stands out for you. Yeah. There's a story that I was uh, told by one of our current store managers who, when she first came to Mod, she was right out of um, prison and came to Mod for a job and felt very apprehensive and nervous. And uh, she still had an ankle bracelet on. And so she was under house arrest and, and she came in and one of her coworkers also had an ankle bracelet on. And she told me that she just immediately felt a sense of belonging. Today, she's the store manager now and just bought her first house. Really? So, you know, we have thousands of these stories. There's a bit of a, I think, a misconception that sometimes focusing on social good is it conflict to business results? Mm -hmm. You guys are a great example that they actually work hand in hand. So what's that like from the inside a little bit? Yeah, I think really our philosophy started with uh, the Spensons, our founders, mm -hmm. when they set out to create a unique platform for people to be themselves. When we can take care of our people, our people take care of our customers, mm -hmm. and the business takes care of itself. Now you have 10,000 employees. Mm -hmm. So how are you using technology for you as the head of HR to help manage and create a great employee experience? We definitely need to rely on technology with that many people. I mean, we have a very distributed recruitment process as an example. So it all happens in the field and not at our corporate headquarters. We have 400 transactions a day with transfers and hires and um, exits and all of those things. And so technology is something that not only helps our managers accelerate the process of hiring, but help our employees move and grow through our systems as well. Looking forward as a head of HR and people sustainability, what do you see? What are your things as you think about the future of MOD? Oh, I, I hope that we can um, continue to break down barriers to employment. It's really about who we can be and how we come to work and, and provide for our families and make a better place. Right. And continue to be one of the most successful pizza chains on the planet. It's amazing that you can do all of that at once. Dana, thank you so much for hosting us here at Mod Pizza. You're welcome. And thank you for joining the Sustainability Challenge. See you next time.